Attorneys say that they need more time to determine if two young Colville boys can be held accountable for a hit list and for bringing weapons to school. They are just 10 and 11 years old. KXOY 4's Kylie Cruz was at the voice court appearance today. She tells us why the defense needs that time. It was packed inside the Stevens County Courthouse today as family and friends of the two juveniles came out to this hearing along with many other members of the Colville community. The two boys, just 10 and 11 years old, entered the courtroom in shackles. Instead of spending time at Fort Colville Elementary, they've been locked up at juvenile detention. They're accused of plotting to kill their fellow classmates. The state's criminal justice system presumes that children below the age of 12 don't have the capacity to understand they were planning to commit a crime. Today's hearing was supposed to determine if there's clear evidence showing the boys understood their actions. Are we prepared to go ahead with the hearing? But the defense said no. They asked for more time to gather information about the boys' mental state. This is not a speedy trial issue case. Is too important. The defense wants the kids to undergo a second mental health examination and says it's worth delaying the hearing. We're talking about boys' lives here. The time was granted. Today, the judge moved the capacity hearing to next month. It's amazing stuff we're talking about here, and it's very rare that it happens. But it does happen, and it gets all of our attention. Colville Superintendent Michael Cashin says the school district is being proactive. They plan to strengthen anti-bullying programs and encourage parents to talk to their kids. I really need parents to help look in backpacks, uh, check lunch boxes, find out what's going on with your child, what is frustrating him. He's still putting together a plan of action, but says he feels strongly about one thing, teachers shouldn't carry guns. I have no problem with law enforcement being on our campuses, um, but it is, it is, it's a paradox for a teacher who is hired to work with the development of a kid. The next hearing will be held on March 15th, right here at Stevens County Courthouse at 9.30. In Colville, Kylie Cruz, KXLY4, HD News.